and good morning at good afternoon and welcome back to another video here from the off-grid garage in today's video i'm giving away the new smart active balancer to one of you guys in the last video about this active balancer i told you to leave a message leave a comment under the video if you want the third generation knee smart active balancer for your setup and why you would need it so quite a few people have left comments under this video and want this balancer now i have still installed and connected in my battery here yeah here it is there it is turned on but not balancing at the moment because i want to see the balancer actually in action i have not seen it because i'm usually not here if the battery is fully charged. And if I'm here, I usually plug in the car. We are already at 95% state of charge. And at this high state of charge, I would have plugged in the vehicle already or cranked up the pool pump. You know, just using up this energy. I rarely charge the battery fully. It usually stays around 60 to 90%. But today I want to fully charge it and see if the balancer kicks in and what it actually does. And then afterwards I will disconnect it, put it in a little box and send it to one of you guys. And we will do the draw here on the channel. Okay, so let's have a look at the settings here. So we can see here our equalization voltage is 3.45 volts. This is when the balancer turns on and at 3.4 it turns off again. So I'm only balancing at the top of my charging cycle. Ah, we have some clouds coming through now. Charging takes forever. Yes, blue sky. We had 98%, 1100 watts only. Ah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. 2200. Okay, we should be there in a second. Okay, and the balancer has turned on now. Hang on, I'm just starting the screen recording here. Balancer has just turned on. See, the average voltage here has risen to over 3.45 volt. And this is exactly our turn on voltage. So this is all working fine. We had 98% charging with 25 amps at the moment here. And we should see the green light actually flashing now. Yeah, there it is. There's our green light. Means the balancer is turned on and balancing and we have a deviation of 70 millivolt here in the pack at 55.2 volts so i think we are entering absorb yeah we've just entered absorption you can see the yellow light and now i keep the voltage there for half an hour on 3.45 per cell so the current will now taper off fairly quickly and the balancer has then time to balance the actual pack so we should see no more than 70 millivolt deviation here in the pack. This should only go down now. See, the highest cell is number 1, 3.476, and the lowest number 12. We are still charging with 21 amps. Yeah, you can see the current. There's the current. Current is going down already. So the battery is now absorbing at 55.2 volts can see the solar incoming here annoying the solar incoming here going down okay so the balancer should turn off at 3.4 volts again this is exactly when i leave the absorption state and go into floating floating is at 3.35 with my pack so at the moment we are still at 3.45 and then we go down to 3.35 and when we go there in half an hour the balancer will actually turn off then. This is already in the flat part of the charging or discharging curve and you don't want to balance there at all. You only balance at the far top or at the far bottom. Okay, let's give it half an hour and see what the deviation does. 73 we are, 17, 17 amps we are still charging. So cell number five is our lower voltage cell at the moment and we can see here on the amp meter when the cell is being charged with 4 amps, there you go, 3.8, and again, and again, and in between it measures the voltage, and there again. Yeah, it discharges number 1 at the moment and charges number 5. 
And you can see here the deviation has already decreased to 50, 49 millivolt now from 72. This is after 10 minutes now. So it is working just fine. And here in the battery voltage and current graph of the smart chunt, you can perfectly see when we actually hit the steep area of the voltage curve. So this is charting during the day up and down with the clouds. And then at this point, you can see the voltage whoop rises very quickly, very steep. And then I start absorbing at 55, 55.2 volts. And this is exactly the knee of the curve basically. So when the voltage is rising that quickly, this is when you should stop charging. Because from here to 100% is, it is less than 1.4 ampere hours. This is what is left to 100%. The smart chant is calibrated to 100%, 3.65 volts, and I basically never reset it. So it always shows me the true state of charge. It doesn't reset at 99% or 98% or something. It only resets at 3.65 volts, which I occasionally do just to see if the batteries are all balanced. Well, the last time I did it was 11 days and two hours ago. See, when you look at these numbers, from my perspective, from my experience so far, it doesn't make sense to charge any higher than 3.45 volts. Capacity-wise, there's no gain. This is, this is one amp hour until 100%, until real 100%. So if you are really reliant on this one amp hour with a 280 amp hour battery, then there's something wrong with your design. And you probably should get a bigger battery. Okay, so we should enter float mode any second now. And you can see at 55.2 volt, we are still charging with 1.8 amps. The battery is not 100% saturated at this voltage. But, um, well, as I said, it is only 1.4, maybe less even now. Yeah, yeah, there's 1.2 ampere hours missing until real 100% 3.65 volts. Is it worth chasing this one ampere hour? Absolutely not. Okay, I think we are entering float mode at uh, 1449. This is half an hour then. And the deviation has gone down from 73 millivolt to only 19 millivolt now. So this is perfectly balanced. And I haven't charged the battery fully, well, fully like this for probably six, seven days now or so. So this is the first time again and the first time I'm actually seeing it. There are 17 millivolts now. There we go. We are just switching to float mode and we should see the balancer turning off now in a second when we hit the 3.4 volts average voltage and then the balancer should turn off. Because there's no point. We are, we are leaving the steep area of the curve now and going down into the flat area and there's no point to balance any further. The voltage is lowering now. Yeah. And all the power for the pool pump comes now from the battery. Solar has completely turned off until we hit the 53.6, which is 3.35 volts float voltage. Balancer is still on. 04, 03, 02, 1, 3.4. There it is. Balancer is still on. Let's wait. 3.9, it takes up to 150 seconds now until it turns off. See, we are at 8 millivolt deviation now, perfectly fine. Let's see when it turns off. There, there, it turns off. Bang, that's it. No balancing anymore. Yep, and the green light has turned off. That's, that's it. That was the last test with the knee smart active balancer here for my battery. So I will now disconnect this one here and one of you guys will get exactly this device here with all the cabling, not these ones. I give you a brand new ones. Okay, so this is the last time this balancer has worked on my battery here. 100% working device generation three of the knee active balancer. Perfect. Okay, so this is the video here where I asked for people to leave a comment if you want this active balancer and we have 185 comments 
on this video. Thank you very much, guys. Only a few of these comments actually are from people who want this balancer. Okay, so what we need to do is copy the video address and then we go to the YouTube random comment picker. We put the URL in here and get YouTube comments. So it's now extracting. So 76 comments, but then there were replies and sub comments and everything. So all in total 185, but it shows only 76 here. And then, well, we just click on start on this website here and it picks a random comment now of one of you guys. And if this comment is from one of you who wants this active balancer, well, you will get it. You are the winner then of this raffle. So probably we have to start this picker here a couple of times until we actually hit a comment which wants this balancer. Okay, let's see what happens. Start. So it's going through all the comments now automatically. No, nah, that's not the one. Pick another winner. Nah, that's not the one. Nah, it's not Ellen. Nah, it's not this Ellen. <laughs> no, it doesn't take too long. Ah, uh, this is the French guy. Uh, I don't know what this all means here, but the, he's not asking for the balancer. John's trying, nah. Come on, let's pick one. Ah, Dennis M. Andy, I really need the balancer. Little Carla defrauded me and sent us used cells. My BMS can't keep the balance. The cell, the cell capacity are quite different. 82 to 89 ampere hours. I was promised 105 ampere hours. Heavily mismatched and used. <laughs> Well, I guess this balancer will go to you. Please get in contact with me, send me an email with your details and I will send this device to your address. Okay, I will put this link of the winner here on the website as well. Hopefully he is getting in contact with me soon and I can send off this balancer to him and he can he can balance then his little color batteries very soon. Okay guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your support here on the channel. Well, and then until the next video, guys, stay charged, stay safe, and thank you so much for watching again. See you then. Bye-bye. Dennis M, get in contact with me. <laughs>